Hi everyone, Azrael Knight here and welcome to another episode of TOC Extra. And today we are going to talk about the Canon AE-1 and AE-1 program. Specifically, the television commercials aired at the time they were being sold. I'll include ads from the West and the East. So sit back and relax, don't touch that dial, as we go through the funny, weird, and sometimes inappropriate commercials of the Canon AE-1. I've talked about the Canon AE-1 and AE-1 program before in several videos, and I'll leave a link for those in the description. But as a brief recap, the Canon AE-1 is an FD mount manual focus 35mm SLR released in 1976 with shutter priority as its main selling feature. The AE-1 program was released a few years later in 1981 and features minor tweaks, but the main upgrade was the full program mode. That is, the ability to allow a microcomputer to do all of the exposure work for both aperture and shutter settings. While I don't believe I have every single commercial ever made by Canon, my research includes 21 separate advertisements, which I believe paints for me a pretty clear picture of how the Canon AE-1 and AE-1 program was marketed on television in the late 1970s and early 1980s. Like I said, I'll talk about the commercials that aired in the Western world and the East. Let's start with the West. Canon AE-1 commercials of the Western world were incredibly consistent. Let's take a look at a few and you'll see what I mean. When I'm assigned to shoot a guy like John Newcomb, I pack my Canon AE-1 with several lenses. Because I'm after more than just John's form. Creativity means capturing his intensity. You try it, John. Me? Sure. The AE-1 is so simple, you can really concentrate on your subject. About all you do is focus and click. The surprisingly affordable Canon AE-1. So advanced, it's simple. I'm Tim Spurg, Tracy Austin. I'm pro photographer, Arthur Grace. To some, I'm still a schoolgirl. To others, I'm a tough competitor. My Canon AE-1 captures the two Tracy Austins. First, how hard she works. Then, how soft she is. Here, your turn, Tracy. <laughs> the AE-1 makes it easy to shoot like a pro. The incomparable Canon AE-1. So advanced, it's simple. Yankee Willy Randolph, he does it all. Pro photographer Fred Conrad, he catches it all with his Canon AE-1 program. More advanced to capture Willie's sheer grace at second base. More camera to follow Willie all the way home. Hey, can I try your Canon? Sure, it's simple. In sun or shade, it's a snap to use. The Canon AE-1 program, so advanced, it's simple, and more of both. As you've probably guessed, the slogan is, so advanced it's simple. Each commercial features a prominent athlete of the times. I'm quarterback Joe Theismann. Can you imagine trying to photograph an Olympic gold medalist like Jean-Claude Killy? When I shoot a great champion like Ben Crenshaw. Like gold medalist Jennifer Chandler. When I'm assigned to shoot a guy like John Newcomb, watch Tracy Austin put it to the test. Yankee Willie Randolph, he does it all. And in some cases, prominent photographers of the times. I'm photographer Scott Barrow. History can happen at any time, and that's why I stay ready all the time. I'm pro photographer Arthur Gray. Pro photographer Fred Conrad, he catches it all with his Canon AE-1 program. It's pretty clear here that Canon is gearing their sales for two groups of people, sports photography enthusiasts, and those who just want to capture fast action. Canon perfectly demonstrates that the camera is good enough for the professional, as well as the amateur, or even a complete novice. It's actually pretty genius the way they illustrate it. It's my turn now. Going out for a pass. All right. With the AE-1, it's easy to shoot like a pro. Try it, it's fun. What? So the AE-1 is so simple to use. About all you do is focus and click. Then you try the zoom. Sure. Even with the zoom, the Canon AE-1 is as easy as Focus and click. Hey, can I try your Canon? Sure, it's simple. In sun or shade, it's a snap to use. Uh -huh. You try it, John. Me? Sure. The AE-1 is so simple, you can really concentrate on your subject. About all you do is focus and click. This handoff shows the viewer that the camera doesn't need a bunch of settings changed, and to the novice or amateur that may be unsure of manual settings, it doesn't play that much of a factor. For sure, cameras with automatic settings had been around for a while, but one that could be used in professional or even advanced amateur work was a fairly new concept. 
And of course, Canon is no slouch when making themselves the official something for something. Canon, the photographic consultant to the National Football League. Canon, the official 35 millimeter camera of the Winter Olympics. Canon, the official 35 millimeter camera of the 1984 Olympic Games. While we see the camera used in a number of professional situations and used by legitimate professional photographers, what Canon is really selling is the idea that an amateur with a Canon AE-1 can shoot like a professional. Remember the Arch Deluxe? It was a burger made by McDonald's with the catchphrase, the burger with the grown-up taste. You know, it's true. People, we do mature faster than boys. Introducing the burger with the grown-up taste, McDonald's Arch Deluxe. If you remember this campaign and you were a kid at the time, or you had kids, then you know who the real target market was. I want to be a grown-up, I'm going to eat a grown-up burger. Same goes for the Canon AE-1. I want to be a professional photographer, I'll shoot with a camera good enough for them. Now, of course, I'm not saying that there weren't pros using an AE-1, but the target market was the amateur. Now let's talk about Japan's marketing. Japan didn't have, at least from the commercials I managed to get a hold of, a unified theme. They seemed to throw a bunch of different concepts at the screen to see what stuck. Uh, here are a couple of examples. While there isn't a theme, the underlying tones are the same as the Western commercials, capturing fleeting moments that other cameras, especially manual exposure cameras, would miss. Here's another example. Well, that aged like milk. I've talked about weird and inappropriate camera commercials in the past, which I'll leave a link for, and when you watch some of these old ads, you have to ask yourself what demographic they're trying to sell to. What might have been projected or even seen as cute and innocent at the time has restraining order written all over it in this day and age. Anyways, moving on. One of the commercials released in Japan does utilize footage from several of the American ads. Canon AE-1. Regardless of where you watch TV in the world at the time, the message was clear that the Canon AE-1 and AE-1 program were quick and easy to use. It was a pivotal camera in photography's history. Of course, while this camera was used for capturing fleeting moments both athletic and perverse, these days the AE-1 is mostly used for moody images of gas stations and neon signs. 
Well, that wraps up another episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like what I do on this channel, be sure and sign up to my monthly newsletter where I list all of my published videos and articles once per month. It always includes a giveaway and you'll never miss another release. You can also support me on Patreon where you'll receive early access, free prints and more. And until next time, stay classic.